Okay guys, in a previous lesson, we covered what we call adjacent angles. And we noticed how adjacent angles share a common arm. And they also share a vertex. Now what we're going to look at today are what we call complementary adjacent angles. They're a type of adjacent angles where they are sitting side by side. However, they're special because they add up to 90 degrees. They add up to 90 degrees. So they're adjacent angles, but they are called complementary adjacent angles. Let's see how they actually look like. As you can see here, we have a right angle, and it's been split up into adjacent angles. One adjacent angle marked with blue, and the other one marked in red. As you can see, both of them make up 90 degrees. So one of them, and added up to the other, will add up to 90 degrees. Let's see an example and see how it actually works. We have a right angle here, and we're basically looking for x. So we know that the right angle is 90 degrees. So basically, we want to work out x. So we say 90 degrees is the total from here all the way to there. Take away 15 degrees. So we're taking away this angle away. We're going to be left with x. So x is 90. Take away, seven, uh, take away 15 is 75 degrees. So now we realize that x equals to 75 degrees, which is this section here. 75 degrees. And as we said before, we always have to give a reason. We have to justify our answer. And in this case here, we say adjacent complementary angles. Adjacent complementary angles. We are saying that x is 75. How did we get 75? Because you see, these are complementary angles. As we can see, they add up to 90 degrees. This is 15, so x must be 75 degrees. Let's look at another one. Once again, we straight away can realize this is a complementary angle to adjacent angles that make up 90 degrees, called complementary. So we want to work out g. And we know that g is 90 degrees minus the 60 degrees. So g is this part of the angle here. We want to take away the 60, and we'll be left with g. 90 take away 60, 30 degrees. So we're saying g is 30 degrees. And of course, we have to write our reason. Adjacent, complementary, angles. Adjacent complementary angles, we're saying this is the reason why we are saying G is 30 degrees. Another example, we notice here complementary angles, and we also notice the complementary angles have been split in half. How do you know half? Because Y and Y, that means this angle here is exactly the same size as that angle there, because Y and Y are the same pronumeral. So we want to work out Y. Very easy. We know that this is 90 degrees. It's been split into two. So we are dividing by two. So y degrees, y must be 45 degrees. So this section here is 45. And this section here is also 45. 90 divided by two. y is 45 degrees. And again, we have to give our reason adjacent complementary angles, adjacent complementary angles. Last one, again, think if, if you can do this one yourself. Let's try. What do you think B is going to be? We'll show our working out. B is the complementary angle, which is 90 degrees in total. Take away the 80.
90, take away 80, B must be 10 degrees. This section here is 10 degrees. 10 plus 80 make the 90 degrees. And, of course, always, always we write our reason adjacent complementary angles. So it's very important to memorize these reasons. We write them in. We are giving a reason for our answer because a lot of the times when you're asked to find a missing angle, they're going to say, give reasons for your answer. This is our reason for our answer for complementary angles.